Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your 21st Microsoft Visual C Sharp tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the different kinds of message boxes. So here you can see the form from the last tutorial. I've taken all that other stuff I added and just made it back to the basics of what we had for the first Windows Forms tutorial. Now you can see here we've got our message box show and it's got our um, message and our title. Now there's a whole bunch of different message boxes that you can make and um, I'm going to go over those so you can see what you can uh, make with your message boxes. So whenever the person clicks uh, say hello it's going to run this code. So let's just go ahead and type message box dot show and we'll just say this is a bare message box. And you may remember this string um, from my Visual Basic tutorials on the new Boston. So this basically just shows a message and it doesn't have a title or anything. Now this one, this message box right here has a title. So this has a title. Now we can also do a whole bunch of other stuff. So we can type message box dot show and we can put this is a message um, set the title and if you add a comma we get another option and we got message box buttons buttons so you can search um, through different types of buttons to add to it so what we're going to do is type message box buttons because we, we're going to be using an, uh, that type of object now if you don't know what an object is that's perfectly fine we'll get into it later but for now just learn how to do this um, and you can add different buttons to your message box so you type message box buttons and then you put a dot and you get a whole bunch of stuff that you can choose from. <clears throat> you can choose from abort, retry, ignore, OK, OK, cancel, retry, cancel, and yes, no, and yes, no, cancel. So let's just go ahead and use yes, no, cancel. So we got a whole bunch of, bunch of buttons we can choose from. Now we get to choose the icon. So just like before, instead of typing message box buttons, um, we're going to type message box icon because it's got it right here. It tells us what data type to use for this argument. So message box icon dot and we get asterisk um, which is basically just a regular message. Get an error, an exclamation. Um, if you think an error is going to happen you can show message box on the exclamation. Um, hand basically tells the user to stop. Information just informs them of something. You can use none for no um, icon which is the, the default. If you don't uh, tell it what icon to use, it's going to use the none. Um, question, stop, and warning. So let's just go ahead and do hand. I think hand is stop, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Ah, you can see here we've disabled say hello. So we need to come over here to form1.cs design, choose our button say hello, and set enabled equal to true. And now we'll run it. So you can see when we click say hello, we've got this is a bare message box and there's no title and it just has OK as the default and no icon. Click OK and it says this has a title and YouTube comes up. Now the reason all these didn't pop up at once is because whenever you open up a message box, it waits for you to do something to that message box before it runs the next line of code. So once I click OK or X, it's going to run the next line of code which is going to show another message box. Now you can see here this one has a title called coding. Um, this one has um, an X, which I don't see how that has anything to do with a hand. But, and then it says this is the message, and we've got yes, no, and cancel. So you can also get um, the result of this. So you can check to see if they clicked yes or no or cancel and see what to do based on that. And we'll go into that later on. So go ahead and exit out of that. So go ahead and practice with message boxes, see what you can do with them. Uh, and then later on, we're going to go and see what you can do. Um, based on the output of those message boxes. So practice with this. Once you got that down, move on to the next tutorial.